Hello everyone. Welcome to my your programming club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is largest number. So the problem statement goes like this. Given a list of non negative integers nums, you have to arrange them from largest uh, to form the largest number, okay? And return it. So, for example, if this is the array uh, of numbers that is given to you, 10 and 2, so you will arrange these numbers in such a way uh, in this particular array uh, that it forms the largest possible number that can be formed. So, see uh, if 2 comes before 10, then it becomes uh, 210. Okay. And if we keep the original ordering, then it becomes 102. So this is obviously larger so this uh, will be returned as your answer and you have to return that uh, the largest number that you can form okay and it is mentioned that since the result may be very large so you need to reason return a string instead of an integer okay so you have to return it in a string form okay so before thinking of an approach Let's have a quick look at the constraints. So according to the constraints, the number of entries in this nums array will be of order 100 and each entry will be of order 10 raised to power 9. Okay. So indeed uh, 10 raised to power 9 and 100 entries of 10 raised to power 9 can be a very large number. That's why we are required to return it as a string. The maximum number that we can form after rearranging the numbers in the given nums array. Okay. So let's try to think of an approach. So the very first approach that came to my mind after reading this particular problem statement is that let's say two numbers are given to you. Okay. And let's take the example that was there on the screen itself. Okay. 10 and 2. Okay. And let's say this is the num array that is given to you. So see. Uh, let's consider this as our a and this as our b okay so if you form a b uh, i mean i i have mean to say uh, concatenating them as strings okay then it will be 102 okay so if you let's consider this order number 1 or ordering 1 okay whatever you may want to call it and let's uh, form another order in which uh, b will be coming first okay and it will be 210 okay so see uh, obviously this number is larger okay and then the previous one so b should be given preference in terms of being used up uh, while forming the number first okay so what we will be doing is from left to right we will be forming our uh, number which will be the largest number okay and preference will be given to those numbers which can make the current number uh, more larger as compared to the ones that are uh, remaining to be taken okay so let's say a number is formed up till here and then you have to add either b or a okay you have to make a choice so instead of adding 10 you would obviously add uh, 2 first okay and then you will add 10 because you see uh, the ordering matters here because b was if b was coming first then b was giving us a larger number okay so uh, this is the whole logic uh, we will be using such a structure which will be automatically giving us uh, the preferable number that is to be attached to the current string okay so let's see how we can do that okay so for that i will be taking the code to the board and showing you the implementation now this uh, the whole problem uh, becomes a implementation problem only after you have figured out this uh, this particular logic okay 
so for that let's take a fresh slide so this is the implementation so what we have done here is so see we are using a priority queue you can think of it uh, basically if you are not familiar with priority queue or heaps okay in general then i will provide link of an article describing what heaps are okay in the description box and how and when to use them okay so basically you can uh, say that whatever is your priority uh, if you are wanting the number which is having the maximum impact in terms of making the number larger then private priority queue will keep your priority in mind and will uh, give you uh, one by one those numbers in the ordering in which uh, they can uh, impact the number uh, making the number larger number okay so for that you have to tell the priority queue what kind of uh, criteria you have you are looking for while uh, you the priority queue will be ordering things for you okay so in a way you have to tell uh, this heap a uh, comparator how uh, should the heap compare things okay so you know then uh, you will describe the comparison criteria so as we discussed we will firstly uh, consider two entries every between every two pair of entries uh, we will form the pairs okay or the ordering let's consider this as ordering order one and this has order two okay so for different orders first uh, for the first one you will be appending a first and then b for the second one you will be appending b first and then a okay and since uh, you wanted to have the number on the top of uh, basically whenever you will be asking heap for your next preferred item the top of the heap will be having your preferred item okay so that uh, in order to make uh, the top of the heap your preferred item so you will be comparing p a to a b so basically uh, what it does is if b a happens to be greater than a b lexicographically then uh, it will return a positive value okay greater than zero and if it is equal to that a b B A is equal to A B, then it will be returning zero. Okay. Else, if B A is less than A B, then it will be returning less than zero. Okay. So, this is what the compare to function will do. So, this is just uh, the uh, implementation of the logic that we were talking about. This logic. Okay. And then once you are, have done that, uh, you will be starting adding your numbers to your preference heap okay so you will be adding them one by one uh, from the given nums array okay so once heap is being populated then you will check what is the top element of the heap in terms of, okay uh, of giving the preference if it is zero it means that that rest of the numbers will be either less than or equal to it okay in terms of preference so in that case that will be a edge case you will be returning zero okay and if it is not so then you will uh, uh, you know perform the operations down the line okay in which you will empty your heap uh, by taking each entry out one by one and as when you are taking the entries out you will be getting the uh, preferred order uh, in which the number that you are trying to form will be the largest uh, number okay and then you will be converting those integer entries to strings by concatenating an empty string with uh, that particular integer value okay and then you will be simply returning your uh, result okay so this is the whole logic so the whole thing uh, was that you have to figure out that uh, this logic how you will be doing the ordering and rest uh, everything was taken care by heap that we have used or priority queue you can say so the time complexity of this particular approach will be order of 
let's say there are n entries in the nums array so n log of n because you see uh, each insertion or uh, delish or you know pulling taking something out of the heap or adding something to the heap will take log of n and if you are doing such things uh, n number of times so it will result into n log n uh, time complexity for this particular comparator part or comparison part or the logic that we have used see uh, how much uh, length can there be of a, a string maximum length if we want to talk about so it can be uh, a 10 digits okay because 10 raised to power 9 was the limit so 10 digits so see if you try to add two strings together then how many digits 20 digits so in order uh, in terms of both space and time order of 20 will be your limit okay and it is uh, well bound with it uh, with this constant 20 so you can take it uh, both space and time here uh, constant okay so that's why i am ignoring them and this is the complexity because of use of heap uh, okay and space complexity wise see uh, this heap will cost you order of n okay so because you are effectively uh, or essentially you know you are just storing the entries of the nums in heap and applying some logic to order them okay so that heap can give you every time the preferred number so that your resultant number can be the largest possible okay so these will be the complexities and if you are still having any kind of doubts or any queries in general then you can ask them in the comment section i really hope this solution walk through added some value to your journey of honing your dsa skills and keep solving more and more problems and i will be seeing you in the next video thank you for watching